Now, hours after the fire started, firefighters learned there was a cat inside the building who lives at the dealership, and they got it to safety. The cat's name is Shelby. This is a picture of her being held. Firefighters quickly took her to get some help. First News reporter Brittany Bissell talked to the woman who's taking care of her tonight. She's live outside of Donnell Ford with that story, new at 6. Well, it's been a tough day here at Donnell Ford as you're looking at what's left to the front of this building. Now, crews have been here working to clean up this mess. You can see some big piles of debris in there and a lot of damage done. But tonight there is a bright spot. This dealership did have an office cat named Shelby. She was inside of that burning building and crews were able to rescue her. And tonight I'm told that she's shaken up, but she is going to be OK. We're told crews found Shelby in the bathroom in its litter box. Uh, this is a picture of her after she was rescued. She's lived at this dealership for over three years. I'm told that she was the beloved office cat. Now Shelby was checked out at Angels for Animals. They say that her breathing is good. Pat McConey works at Donnell Ford. She says she couldn't believe it when she found out about the fire. So I put the news on and I seen the building just up in flames and the first thing I thought of was Shelby and I thought I thought for sure she would be gone. Now, Patty McConey says that Shelby will now be staying at her house. She'll take her back to Angels for Animals for another checkup in a week. Now, Patty has worked at the dealership for the last seven years, and when I talked to her, she told me that this was just devastating. She tells me that she will be working at another location for the time being, but she did say that they are still sorting all of that out tonight. For now, live in Boardman, Brittany Bissell, WKBN 27 First News.